Hello, hello, everybody. Hi, teacher. Hi. It's a pleasure. Hi, teacher. Hey, hello. Ana Maria. <laughs> and Mariano. Yes. Okay. Yes, right. Okay, it's a pleasure. Uh, let's start with a new class. Uh, I want to share to begin, right, the presentation. And we're going to discuss some, some topics, right? Give me a second here. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to move this. Oops. Okay, that's it, right? Good. So, English for Word program, right? This is the class number 17, right? And today is July the 15th, right? And the topic for today is vocabulary branding. Now we are in the unit number three, branding, right? And before we start, we have this very interesting conversation, right? Discussion, I mean, right? So we're going to discuss one or two questions here, or one or two um, ideas, right? About men versus women. Are we different? Are we enemies? No, right? So we are the same, but we have some special characteristics that make us not totally different, right? But we are the same because we are human, right? So let's start with the first question. Let me see. Mariano, ladies and gentlemen, Mariano is going to make this comment, right? In El Salvador, are the responsibilities of a mother the same as the responsibilities of a father to their families? What do you think? What is your opinion, Mariano? Yes, sir, I can see the the, the, the presentation. I'm driving right now. Ah, you're driving, Mariano. Yes. No, sorry, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. So, um, Vanessa, please. What is your opinion about this? Okay, just just give me a second, Vanessa. I will get at the, the attendance. Give me a second. Give me a second. Here, right? Okay. Give me a second. Also, I need to make a, a moment here. Okay, everything is okay. Then let's start with the presentation here. Good. So, Vanessa, please, what is your opinion? Good evening, teacher. Hey, so, hello. For me, the Salvador has a paradigm. How do you say paradigm? Paradigm, right? <laughs> paradigm. So, in the major case, for me, the father has the 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 more responsibility. More, more responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So, okay. um, in some cases, um, the the woman is a housewife and don't have doesn't have an a, a formal job work mm -hmm. so only the father works for for bring the money to their house so for me only fathers in, the in, father the fathers in the south father, right yes. the fathers in but south not in, uh, in all the cases so in other cases yes al revés <laughs> Vice versa. Vice versa. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you mean that the person who works have more responsibilities in the family? That's 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 it, Vanessa. Yes, the, ah. the father. Yes. Okay. No, no. But when the mother is working, the mother is, has more responsibility. Oh yeah. When, yes. Okay. Yes. Good. But don't you consider Vanessa that 
there are other responsibilities like raising the, the children, you know, criar a los niños, raising the children and some fathers don't do that. House, household, do that. household chores at home, right? So what do you think, yeah. Vanessa? Yeah, the fathers uh, don't don't have this responsi responsibility for 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 take care of the children. So this responsibility is from from the mayor of women's women for me for women. You think it's for, more for women, right? Okay. Yes. Um, so in your case, you don't believe in uh, responsibilities that uh, sharing responsibility, you no. Know? Responsabilidad yeah. compartida. No, ok, you don't. Ok, good. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you very much. Um, who do I have here? Ana Maria, are you there? Yes, it's true. Ok, good. What do you think, Ana Maria, about the same question? question uh, one. Are the responsibilities of a mother the same? I think it's a good practice. They have to be the same responsibility for mother and father. But in their real life, I think that uh, I don't know the society don't find the equilibrium or balance. The balance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the balance yet uh, with that responsibility. Okay. Good. So, uh, like Vanessa said, right? Sometimes it depends on the family, right? Because sometimes uh, uh, only the father works, a few families, but there are some mothers that work and, and the father is at home or has another kind of responsibility, right? And not working. In, in the majority of the case, but that's, that's what I see is that both work. But in my family, for example, my wife works and I also work. So that's my case, right? Uh, okay, good. I have a message of Ever. Thank you for your message, Ever. Thank you very much. Good. I understand. I understand. Thank you. Good. And, and in my case, right, that's what I believe, of course, that the responsibilities must be the same, right? For example, the, raising the children or, or doing errands or, or making household chores, you know, que ser domesticos, could be both, right? For example, I remember that uh, when my children were babies, you know, in the middle of the night, right? Sometimes my wife, sometimes me, sometimes I, I wake up in the at the middle of the night, right? And okay, moving the hammer, you know, moving the lamaca, I did, right? So that's what I believe, right? Uh, but of course, I repeat. I agree with Vanessa when Vanessa said that it depends on the families, right? Every family has a, their own um, way to work, you know? So, but uh, it, now it's more normal that uh, fathers also ha have the same responsibilities of mother, right? Or vice versa, like, I repeat like what Vanessa said, right? Okay, now Roberto, hello, welcome. Listen, we are discussing here, uh, differences or some things that are similar between men and, and women, right? And we're talking about responsibilities in, in the family, right? Uh, in your case, Roberto, what are the responsibilities you have in your house with your family? Uh, we share the responsibility with, uh, that I have a only daughter and, uh -huh. and we, a shared responsibility between my wife and me mm -hmm. uh, um, with the meetings on the school or, or in case um, when, when my daughter is sick, uh, we try to uh, go to the doctor together uh, with, with, uh, with, uh, with she. Excellent. So what a wonderful way to to see the family's, the family's responsibility, right? Thank you, Roberto. Good. Yes. And now, uh, Aminda, sorry, um, do you have babies? No, right? No yet? Yes, I have oh, to. Good, good. That's it. Okay, good. <laughs> so you can answer the question, Aminda. What are responsibilities of a mother 
right, in the family? Uh, okay, in my case, uh, I care my, my my two kids. And two kids, two kids, uh -huh, okay. yes. Uh, when when they are as a, a, a baby, I I wake up in the middle of the night and and, yeah. and, and cared. And now, pues, uh, and now we share the responsibility with my husband. Nice. And so it's, this is normally because uh, maybe maybe I can be assist in, in the meeting in the school, but my husband, yes, and he go to the, to the meeting. Nice, good. And what about the household chores? Que ser doméstico, Aminda? How do you do as a family the household chores? Ah, okay. Eh, lo hacemos todos juntos, okay. todos como familia. You do that, together, we do, right? yeah. Your children, your husband, you. Yeah, you we we all collaborate with the clean the house. Okay, nice, nice, very good. You know, uh, sorry to tell you this, but. This is something personal, but before this class, I was washing the dishes, you know. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes my wife does, does that, right? She, she washes the dishes, right? Sometimes I cook, sometimes she cooks. So I, mm. I guess in the case of yes. Roberto, I mean that me, we have this kind of family, right? That we share the responsibilities, right? Yeah. Good, 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 nice. And, uh, but that's it, right? We still have some families where um, just the father work, as Vanessa said, right? And the mother is at home. But I think it's, it's okay. It's okay because if the mother doesn't work, she can do, she can uh, do some other responsibilities, right? But from time to time, I imagine uh, we fathers can make things that, to help the family too, right? The only thing I don't like to do in a, uh, my wife doesn't permit that is to, to do the laundry, right? Because you're going to destroy the wash dish, the wash, the wash ma washing machine, sorry. You're going to destroy the washing machines, is it, right? And then, okay, you do that. <laughs> That's it, right? Okay. Now, but let's continue talking about this topic, right? Are fathers capable, son los papás capaces, right? Tienen capacidad, right? Of carrying out the duties of a mother. For example, uh, changing the diapers for the babies, um, feeding the children, um, what else? Uh, ironing the clothes, you know? Uh, is that possible? Let's say, Domingo, what about you? Can you make some of the duties that are assigned to, to the mothers, Domingo, in your house? Mm, excuse me. Okay, I will repeat the question. I will repeat this question. The question is, is that we men, we fathers, can do, you know, the thing like, like sewing, you know, coser, you know, iron, planchar, you know, changing the diapers, alimentando a los niños, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? Normally, women are very fast, effective, right? And, and they do this very well. So my question is, you, Domingo, can you do, do those duties? Puede hacer todas esas cosas también? Are you capable? Es capaz de hacerlo? Yes or no? Uh, uh, yes, it's, yes. Uh, it's, it's the color. <laughs> uh, it's, in, in, in my house, it's, I am alone. So I, uh, I am alone. Ah, and you're not married. Uh, I said, Lucky you. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, good. So you're, uh, you're single. Uh, 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 yes, he says. Well, you're, uh, Domingo, in your, in your case, you have to, <laughs> because that's only you, right? Uh -huh. That's only yes. you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, good. Now, but there are other responsibilities at home, right? Like, uh, you know, repairing things, painting. Uh, uh, checking some machine like the printer, like the like the blender, the microwave oven, the refrigerator, you know, to check those things or to be a, a plumber, 
you know, at, at home or repair the car, check the oil of the car, etc. Change the, the tire of the, of the car, etc., etc. Right? Those are responsibilities. Ah, oh, take uh, take the garbage out, right? No, take uh, take the garbage out is another thing, right? Uh, so those are responsibilities that normally are assigned to to fathers, to men, right? At home, right? So let me see. Um, hello, Wendy. Welcome. Hello. Hello, hello. Okay, we're discussing about the uh, men and, and women, right? And fathers and yeah. mother, of course, right? And yeah. we were saying that uh, women uh, have the the capability, la capacidad, right? The capability of of doing some duties, some responsibilities at home, right? Those yes. those responsibilities that normally are assigned to to a, to a woman or to a mother, right? But now um, I, I make this question to you, Wendy. Do you think women can do some duties that are assigned to, to men in, in the house? Um, <laughs> I don't know. For like example, change, changing like, a light bulb. Let's say, let's say this, changing a light bulb, right? Cambiar un foco. Right? Yes, yes, I think that, yeah. You can do that. This okay. kind of things, yes, but if, mm. it, uh, if it's a uh, uh, more difficult work, Maybe okay. not, but other thing, no one, yes. changing the, the gas, the tank of the gas for the for the stove, right? Cambiando el gas de la cocina. Can you do that? When yes, did... I can. Oh, good, nice. So you see, <laughs> women are capable too. Yes, nice, right? Yes. Nice. We live in a yes, now we are the same. Good. Yes, nice. Maybe men are did... more stronger than maybe men are more stronger, but we can physically, physically kind of only, yes. Physical, only mm -hmm. physically. <laughs> but, but we are equal, yes, we are equal. Wendy, the we last question, equal. can you change a tire? The tire of your car? No, 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 no I can't. So you, <laughs> I, I know, you I'm learn. not stronger enough to change. No, 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 but, but listen, tire. sometimes you only need the, the, the appropriate tools. Solo necesitan las herramientas apropiadas. For example, uh, um, I don't know how to say, uh, I forgot how to say el gato. You know the the machine. Well, okay. the gato, right? Yes, so, yes. Sometimes they are hydraulic, so you can. Yes, it. I know. No, no problem. But I, I can't. For the moment. <laughs> I never do. I never done that. Listen, someday if I see you on the street and you have this problem, I can help you with. <laughs> ah, okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Good. Thank so you. you see, class, uh, fathers and men, of course. And mothers, women, of course, are capable to do some duties that the society assign only for women and the society assign only for men, you know? For example, popular people say, okay, the mothers can take care of the baby and the father work and repair the car, right? But now I, I, I guess it's not anymore, like when they say, right? We are more modern. So both can do the same thing, right? Good. I will take the attendance and we are going to continue talking later. Uh, Trini? Present. Good. Welcome, Trini. Aminda? Present. Ana Maria? Present. Good. Carlos? Mr. Membreño Nunez? Okay. He's incorporating later, I guess. Uh, Claudia Guadalupe? Like, what's your message, Claudia Guadalupe? Bueno, yo quiero mensaje. Eh, Domingo? Present. Ever? Ah, no, Ever is, eh, va a estar de listen hasta la, hasta la segunda. Sí, sí, Ever, ya me acordé que va a estar hasta la segunda. Sí, sí. Thank you, thank you, Ever. Thank you, thank you. Ok. No hay pregunta para usted, Ever, no se preocupe, hasta después. <ríe> eh, José Roberto? Present teacher. Good. Carla Benazir? Mándame el mensaje, Carla. Ok. Um, then, uh, Carla Vanessa. Present. Good. Laisley. Ok. Uh, Leticia. Leticia. Ok, vamos a ver, tengo un mensaje por acá. 
Oscar. Uh, ok, good. Oscar solo va a estar de lista. Regálame un segundo, Oscar. Vamos a apuntarlo por acá. Voy a apagar el micrófono un ratito porque el perrito de mi vecino está ladrando. Permítame. Mariano. Present teacher. Rosemary. Present teacher. Good. Welcome, Rosemary. Rosibel. Present. Welcome. Teacher. Okay. Hello. Eh, Sonia Beth. Thank you. Present. Oh, nice. Vanessa Noemi. Present. Good. Walter Omar. Walter. Okay. Let me see. Uh, Carla Benazir y Claudia Guadalupe no me han enviado el mensaje. Por favor, me lo envíen. Ok, uh, Walter Omar todavía no se ha conectado. Let me see. Wendy. Wendy. Present. Good. Present. Vicky. Thank you. Vicky. Salvador Chamba. Clear, mister. Good. Welcome, Mr. Sorto Rivas. Thank you. Debbie. Thank you. Okay, welcome. Debbie. Debbie. Okay. And Jorge Alfredo. Jorge. Good. So let's continue, right? Now, for me, this topic is very interesting. I don't know you, but I like it. I like it. Now, let's, let's go for the next question. Are there different expectations for sons, boys, you know, and daughters? Uh, Chamba, please. You have a boy, right, Chamba? Uh, so what is your opinion? Uh, Mariano, if you want, after, after Chamba, right? Chamba, what, what is your opinion? Do you have a different expectation for your boy? Because he's a boy, you know? Chamba? Okay, Mariano, so come on, Mariano. Uh, Mariano, sorry, do you, do you have babies? Not this year. Not yet, right? But your expectation? <laughs> uh, uh, good, yeah. good. Give me a second, Mariano. Uh, okay. Chamba, give me a second. Lo vamos a anotar aquí como listener, Chamba. Okay, good. Ya, ya está anotado. Okay. So, Mariano, sorry again for the interruption. Now, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Uh, in my experience with my father and mother, uh, uh, I have no different expectations for my sister and me, for example. Okay. And in the actually in the world, I think so. In many cultures, have a different expectation, but the global. <laughs> And the, around the world, I think so, no. No, so in your case, uh, no. your father and your mother treat you like the same, right? You're a boy, you're a girl, but yes. same responsibilities. You're going to graduate from the university <laughs> and yes. it's not the, uh, no, your sister, she has to wash the dishes. No, Marianito, no, no Marianito, no, don't do that because you're a boy. All <laughs> no, right. That was Marianito no. watching the dishes. You know? <laughs> okay. No, Good. That's know. nice. Nice for your father and your mother, right? In my family, yes. the same happened. With, I, I, I know how to do the laundry. Yo sé cómo lavar la ropa. I do that. Okay. I, I can Me sew. Too. I can también. I can iron. Yes. Me too. I can do those things, right? I imagine your family was the same, right, Mariano? Yes, teacher. Good, nice. Good idea. I, I like. Congratulations to your father and your mother, right? Thank because you. Because we men, men, we have to be prepared for everything, right? Yes, yes, for right. everything. Really. Cooking, washing the dishes, and do other things. For example, uh, my father taught me how to be a mechanic, how to be a plumber, how to be a carpenter. <laughs> so yes, I know. And 
and that chef. A chef too, Mariano, you're a chef. <laughs> but only Maruchan, I guess. But in the in the weekend, mm -hmm. only my father cooks in the house. Oh, you see? Mother and father yes. cooking, you know? So you're a good chef, yes. Mariano. You learn. Yes. Oh. Yes. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> it's not as, excuse me, but excuse me, right? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mariano. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Uh, um, Vanessa Noemi, please. Again, I need your commentary. Sorry, excuse me. My cell phone is working. The famous city, right? It's working. <laughs> okay. Uh, what habits are deemed assignados? Assignado, right? What uh, habits are deemed as appropriate for men? <clears throat> right? And but inappropriate for women. For example, I will give you this example. Uh, if you smoke, no, oh, come on, no, you're a woman. No, you don't have to smoke. Only men smoke. Or for example, uh, men, you're, you're using a cream for the face, right? What are you doing? You're using a cream for your face? No, come on, you're not a woman. That's only for women, right? Using cream for the body, no, it's only for women. Men don't have to use cream, right? So those are examples uh, for some habits that are assigned or deemed, right? Just for men and for women, right? What is your opinion about that, Vanessa? Mm, to carry with is it true, false? That are so, sorry, Vanessa, I can't copy. No, no. El, el volumen, no sé si está un poco bajo, Vanessa, no sé. No sé si soy yo. Porque Hello? Hoy, hoy sí, está mejor. Ajá, ok, come on, continue, continue. Um, when the, the woman carry with things that are pesadas? Okay, but but in this case, uh, for men in general, I'm talking not exactly you have to be a, a father. For example, Mariano is not a father yet. In the future, he's going to have five babies. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but for the moment, for example, Mariano is not a father. So I'm talking about in general, Vanessa. What are some habits that, listen, quotation mark, entre comillas, right, are only for men, and some habits, some, some, sorry, habitu, some habits that are only for women. That what is the, the society accept, right? Normally, normally, right? So, what is your opinion of that, Vanessa? Is true? Is false? Is correct? Is incorrect? It could be um, to to drive a car or to drive um, a big car like. Uh, Pickup, no sex. Mm -hmm. pick Driving a pickup is just for men. Uh, for you. Okay, good. Yeah. What else? What else? <laughs> you don't have ideas. You don't have it. That's okay, Vanessa. Don't worry. But that's a good example, right? Normally, you'd say, eh, solo los hombres manejan pickups y camiones. Las mujeres no deben manejar. Que fea ser una mujer manejando un camión. Okay. People say, right? People say, you know, people say. No, not me, <laughs> not me, right? Okay, thank you, Vanessa, and, and let me see. Uh, Yvette, please. What do you think of the same question, Yvette? What is the question? The question is that what habits, what costumes, or what behaviors, que actitudes, que comportamiento, right? Are deemed, son asignados, right? like appropriate for men and appropriate for women. Mm. Uh, but let's just say something, for example, yeah. driving pickups and driving trucks, for example, or buses is just for men, just for men, right? That's one example. Can you give us more examples, Yvette? Mm. In the past, only the men uh, can be war. 
in a uh -huh, for out the of the house. Okay. It's appropriate just for, for men to work for the family, right? In the past, good. In the past, because this is a, a ridiculous idea. I know, I, know. <laughs> I agree, I agree. Okay, it's I will correct. give you this example, if it, and you tell me yes or no, right? Uh, yes. Only men can go to the army. Solo hombres pueden ir a pelear por su país. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, for example, in Ukraine, Ukraine, sorry. In Ukraine, okay. the law says that only men can go, right? Solo los hombres pueden ir a pelear en la guerra, right? In Ukraine, in this moment, right now, it's a law, right? It's una ley que solo los hombres deben ir a pelear por su país. Women, no. Only men, right? What is your opinion? Okay. Okay. Is that correct or incorrect, Yvette? Okay, something happened with the internet, uh, uh, Yvette. Rosibel, please. Hágame la segunda ahí con Yvette. <laughs> so, what do you think of that? Only men can go to fight in the army or in the Navy or in the Air Force? Uh, what do you think? I think uh, I think in the past it mm -hmm. was uh, a good uh, habit. Oh, you a good, thank you. Only, only, <laughs> a good only, habit. For, only for men. Only for men, yeah. Okay, only, good. <laughs> but nowadays, mm -hmm. a woman are in the army. I know, in El Salvador, yeah. yes. They, in some countries like uh, Ukraine, for example, no, only men. But but yes, you're right. In El Salvador, in in United States, also right. We have women. Mm -hmm. But what is your Policies. opinion? Uh -huh, policy women. Uh huh. Yes. In of my, course. Yes. I agree. In, yes. In my in my opinion, uh, I think woman is can not 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 is good uh, habits. For, yeah. for do. Mm -hmm. to go to the army in your case, right? Do you mm -hmm. think that is not appropriate? Well, in fact, I think neither men, neither women can go, but but yes, you consider it's a work or a habit or an activity just for men, right? More appropriate for men. Okay, good. Only for men. Okay, in, in this question, do you think it's appropriate to use some uh, beauty products for men? Um. I think the, the main uh, can be used, uh, but uh, beauty products. Not 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 no no more. O sea, it's not uh, appropriate for see, you. Mm. See, see presentation, but not use because it's normally accessories for for, for women. For women. Yes. Okay, good. Women. Well. I don't use any product, me personally, right? But there are some products like like creams, right? Um, mm -hmm. What else? Uh, some special shampoos, right? Well, in my case, I use the the shampoo that says only for men. <laughs> but some men, yes, some men use some beauty product, right? Some men go to the beauty yeah. salon, and they are, you know, they are heterosexual, right? And they go to a beauty salon, right? Um, do you think that is inappropriate, Ivet? Uh, if you see a man in a beauty salon, for example, ooh, it's a gay. <laughs> Some people say that. Or oh, no. What do you think? It's a very difficult question, right? Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I don't Ask want to. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. As to Yvette. Uh, As okay. to Yvette, teacher. Uh, Rosibel, right? Me, sorry, Rosibel. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Um, uh, I was asking Yvette, but uh, that's why I confused. But this, the question is for you, Rosibel. Sorry. <laughs> I um, made a mistake. Sorry. Uh, I confused uh, you. <laughs> okay, so Rosibel, do you, so you me, think that me, teacher. men going to a beauty salon is not, it's not good? No, no, for example, okay, no, good. Teacher, it's not good. Good, good. that's okay. Uh, also, yeah. when I see a when I see a man with a, the 
how do you say cejas? Uh, eyebrows. Eyebrows, uh, very cosmic, cosmetic. <laughs> yes, <no. laughs> they look strange. <laughs> yeah. Look strange. I of think course, uh, yes. the, the, the men can be, can be co uh, uh, cosmetic, but no, no much. O sea, no, I understand. No I understand. much is very strange. No makeup, uh -huh. no makeup, of course. Uh -huh. yes. No makeup. Uh -huh. well, I understand, but. But I consider a cream over here, a shampoo over there. It's, it's not the big, oh, some, some cucumber, right? On the no, eye. Algunos pepinos en el ojo. Men que do that, I, I consider. I don't do. Okay, I don't do it. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, is, is, I'm sorry, continue, continue, okay. sorry. Uh huh, Rosibel. No, I think the cream, cream and also that do that is, is it's good, but okay. no, yeah, uh, uh, of course, yes. <laughs> Hidden <laughs> things are no are not good, right? Good. Mm -hmm. Now, next question. This is for uh, Rosemary. Rosemary, uh, what jobs are deemed some considered right as appropriate for men, but inappropriate for women? We were saying something, right? To be a soldier, ser soldado, right? Oops, sorry. Okay, for example, go to the army. Some of you say no, right? What other jobs, jobs sorry, are only for men? Okay, in my personal opinion, mm -hmm. in my personal experience, uh, sometimes the people think the construction jobs are mm -hmm. uh, most properly for men and didn't for women. In my case, I'm I'm an architect and I work in the construction every day. But normally the people nowadays, inclusive, look the that kind of professions better in men than a woman. Okay. I agree with you in the sense that uh, women have more physical uh, advantage. I can say that, right? Maybe. I don't know if I sound bad. No, si suena bien, but. but uh, we are different in, in the way that we, we are stronger. I mean, stronger physically only, right? Maybe that's why people say, ah, this is for, for men, right? I have seen some uh, plumber, no, plumbers is, uh, no, masons, sorry, masons, uh, girls. I have seen some, but most, like you say, right, uh, are just for, for men, okay? And the other one, uh, Vanessa, I, I guess said, right, buceros, uh, Picacheros, buceros, microbuceros, normally are men, right? No. Peter. Yes, tell me. Peter. Uh, also mechanic. Mechanic, okay. <laughs> okay, so in, in, in general, in general, right? So is well, I don't consider inappropriate the word. Maybe it's not, not common that we see uh, women that are mechanic, right? And honestly, girls, I'm sorry, but I, I won't take my car to a woman that is a mechanic. I don't know why, but, <laughs> but yes, maybe it's because of the society, the sociedad, right? Give us those ideas. But anyway, okay, let's continue. Um, uh, welcome, Carlos. Welcome to the class. And let me see. Carlos, are you there? Okay, well, I have Walter now, right? Hey, hello, Walter. Um, hello, good night, teacher. Good night, uh, good evening. Uh, these are two questions, yeah. you know, two questions that I will ask to you, Walter. Are more doctors female or male in El Salvador? Um, I'm not sure, I think more When you go doctors. to the hospital, right? When you go to the hospital, you see more doctors men or more doctors women or equal? I think I, I saw more doctors men. Men, right? This uh, and, and, and female, I see more uh, nurse. Nur nurses that are women, right? Yes, more okay. women than the, the men. Good. So this is a custom, not only in El Salvador, but in in other countries, yes, right? Yes, 
mm. is the the typical uh, for nurse is more more us usual see woman than men. Mm -hmm. For example, in my case, honestly, I prefer uh, women nurses when they when they touch me. I don't know how to say that, but when they treat me, <laughs> when they take care of me. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> It's not that I am a, a macho. No, 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 it's, sorry. Eh? It's my personal opinion, right? And also this question, hey, Walter, are more truck drivers female or male in El Salvador? Uh, no, no. It's, 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 totally, right? <laughs> it's, it's totally false. Uh -huh. Well, I, I only see male okay, right. drivers uh -huh. truck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't know. Well, physically, I guess those are jobs that. Uh, okay. Yes, Yvette. Thank you. Thank you. I understand it was the internet, Yvette. I understand. Don't worry. Don't worry. So I will make questions to you later, Yvette. Thank you for for coming back. <laughs> so Walter, I consider my personal opinion. Of course, sorry, I, I give my personal opinion all the time, but uh, maybe it's. I don't know, it's a cultural thing, right? That some jobs are assigned for men and some jobs are assigned for women. But of course I re respect a woman that can drive a, a, a truck or a, a woman that is a doctor or a woman who is a mechanic, right? Yes, or a man maybe, that is a nurse, I respect the, that. From, I think from, from we are child, Mm -hmm. the, 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 the school from the school uh, right mm -hmm. the teacher teach teach to us some some words some joys are are defining for for gender i understand yes i understand it's the culture it's in general the culture right uh, for example mariano he has good parents right but there are other parents that teach okay no, 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 you're a girl. Usted no puede hacer eso, niña. Usted es una niña, right? No, no, don't do that, right? Only doll for you. Todas las muñecas para usted, right? And for the boy, aquí está tu camioncito. Right? Totally right, yeah. Uh -huh. In the school, the same. Depends on the, the, the father or the parents. Uh-huh. Yes, it's a question of the family and the school that, but it's a tradition, it's, it's a, an institution in our country, right, that uh, we must assign some things just for women and just for men, right? Yeah. But now, this is a very deep question that Carla Vanessa is going to answer. Are men and women equal in ability and intelligence? Carla Vanessa, what do you think? Of course, yes. Why? We are equal. Why? Why? Because por qué? <laughs> 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 uh, we have the, the the same brain, the same uh, abilities, abilities. Uh, I don't know more. Uh, if we have uh, the same, uh, how can I say, a space for for develop your 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 abilities your abilities right and your intelligence intelligence yes. too right mm -hmm. in your family carla vanessa you have brothers cousins uncles aunts in general in your family uh, do you see differences are women more intelligent oh, oh, <laughs> i am right? the only woman <laughs> you are the only woman in your family my yes. goodness <laughs> Okay, well, yeah. at least you, I can say, Carla Vanessa, that at least uh, for the intelligence, you are good. That's it, right? I don't know your abilities, yes. driving, cooking. <laughs> uh, uh, cooking, I'm a good cooker. You don't cook? I don't like to cook. <laughs> oh, okay. So you only call the telephone, so, okay? <laughs> Chinese no, food, no, my husband. Poquitos, pupusa. <laughs> okay, but... My husband cooks. And your husband is a chef. Nice. Yeah. Congratulations to him, right? And he what is, is sorry, Carla Vanessa, what is like a woman, right? What is one ability that you consider you have? 
um, I can uh, do the clean in the house pretty ah, fast. You are good cleaning. <laughs> and, and good, not only where your uh, stepmother can see. Okay. Ah, your mother-in-law can see. <laughs> your mother-in-law. Your <laughs> monster-in-law, you say? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, because sometimes you only only room, right? So maybe pass a escoba, but of course, I don't know. Sorry. It is not maybe girls can be offended for this. But I see my wife doing cleaning the house or washing it. They do very fast and good. Fast and good. I don't know. I don't know, right? I do. I do, but but I'm not very good, right? So that's an ability, right? That's an ability. Yes, that is yeah. an ability. Yes. Good. And Carla Vanessa, I agree with you in the in the thing that yes, women and, 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 and women, we are equally, equal. Yeah. We are the same, the same. Yeah. Right? That thing that people say, ah, the the women are more intelligent, or, or the men are more intelligent, or, or women are like that, women are liars, and, and or men are like no, for me it's not not that. For me, it's people person the person is a liar the person is a criminal no no a man or a woman right for me of course it's my opinion right thank you Carla Vanessa and then we go to the last two questions uh, this is for uh, Jose, Jose Roberto please more questions to you Jose Roberto uh, can men wear women's clothing yes or no Uh, sir, sorry, teacher, can men wear, uh, puede un hombre vestir ropa de mujer, right? Can a man wear women's clothing, yes or no? Uh, well, it's a tricky uh, question, was it una pregunta <laughs> tramposa, right? Uh -huh. Yes or no? Yes, yes, can. Why? Can. Uh, the the difference is uh, the this uh, should should have or they should be used. Okay, good. For example, uh, Jose Roberto, uh, when you go to uh, to Prisma, to Siman, to to BMS, uh, wherever you go, right? Sometimes there are some shares that are very similar, right? But the difference, uh, what that's what I learned is the way the buttons are put in the, in the shirts and in the blouses, right? So they say that the buttons, sorry for, for Joey, right? Are on the right side, you know? But in the blouses, the buttons are in this, in the left side, right? So, but we men normally, when I when say, do you want to use this blouse? No, come on. <laughs> yeah, but now the opposite, Jose Roberto. Can a woman wear men's clothing? Yes or no? Yes, yes, I think it's common, this. It's very common, in my opinion, too, yes. Yes. <laughs> very common, yes. And, of course, they look very beautiful. Women, you use? Yes, you yes. They look beautiful, yes. The, the pants, boots, right? T-shirts. T-shirts. Yeah, a woman with a teacher, she, they look beautiful, yes. But the custom to see a man with a with a... With a dress, <laughs> well, it's not not very common, right? Uh huh, Walter. What do you think? No, I remember um, in one country it's common the men use a skirt, but not remember it's Scotland. Um, Scotland. Scotland. Mm. Escocia. Escocia, huh? Scotland. Yes, I agree. Yes, so for they country. are are no no is weird like like. Like, yes. Would you dare, Walter? Se atrevería? Would you dare? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in Scotland, right? <laughs> no, <in Minnesota. laughs> yeah, in we... this place, yes. <laughs> Here, no. Listen, uh, my wife says that uh, why I don't like pink, for example. Is it? But I don't like pink be not because it's a color a, a dim or a sign for women. No, I don't like pink because I don't like pink. But normally, uh, you know, women. It's not because of machismo, you know, it's, it's because we don't like, I mean, I don't like blouses, I don't like makeup, I don't like, 
uh, color pink. I don't like it. I don't know. <laughs> That's it, right? But in the case of women, I guess it's more acceptable. They use, you know, things that are for men. I have some students, for example, who are starting to be a, to be a mechanic, right? Industrial mechanic, right? They wear boots and they look beautiful. The students with the girls, you know? Yeah, nice, no problem, right? But I guess the costume is that the men, we don't accept those clothes, right? Ah, and this is the last question. Walter, for you too, we finished it. Can men wear pink clothes? Yes or no? <laughs> Yes, uh, and uh, actually, yes, I think it's more common. Yeah, uh, it's more as more as um, it's more acceptable this color, but uh, can be a taboo. Uh huh. Yes. These days, for for typical men, uh, for example, for me, I don't like use clothes with with pink. Okay. Uh, for for me, I don't. I don't you know, Walter. Uh, what like is very it. common, Walter? Uh, the the polo, the polo shirts, color pink for men. Polo shirt with 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 pink color is common. Yes, it's but, common. Yes, but uh, I feel I feel strange. Of course, yeah. Me, me too. I don't like. It's because I don't like the color, right? But pants color pink, <laughs> never. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Walter. Well, thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you, everybody. So sorry to take too much time in this topic, but it's very interesting. Now, let's go to the class. Let's go to the, the usual class, right? We continue with unit number three today, branding, branding. So uh, Domingo, can you read the intro? Oh, you read yesterday, right? Usted me la leyó ayer. No, no, entonces, uh, let me see. Hey, Carlos, please, would you read the, the objective for today, Carlos? Hello, Carlos. Okay, so Ana Maria, please read the objective for today. Yes, a sketch the mm -hmm. basic of the branding process for a person or a company. Nice, nice. Good pronunciation, Ana Maria. Nice. Okay, now let's go to the vocabulary for today, right? Entity, corporate, develop, stand out from, stand out from, convey, convey, right? Uh, so entity, it's a thing with distinct and independent existence, right? Uh, an, an entity is, uh, for example, in products, remember the, the products are, are objects, of course, right? Of course, they are objects, or the services, right? And, and, but they are considered like an entity, you know? It's because they are things. And product, for example, if I say uh, lapicero big, uh, bebida Coca-Cola, carro uh, Nissan, right? So they have their own uh, distinct and independent existence, right? Okay, listen, sorry, this is not the topic, right? But uh, today I was, I was listening a video, I was watching a video of a man that was discussing about abortion. And the man that was against abortion said that, that the, the babies that are in the, in the in, inside a women, right? They have an entity, right? Uh, and also, is the same entity that a baby that is out of the mother when when they are born right is the same entity so, so we when we kill the person inside the woman we are killing a, an entity a, a person you know? of course this is another topic but <laughs> it caught my attention today that that this this is uh, the definition of the word entity right it's something it could be a person too right that is distinct and independent, right? Okay, then corporate is an adjective, right? Relating to a corporation, right? So all the topics about corporations, companies, you know, corporate, especially a large company or a group, say, right? Okay, um, in El Salvador, we have 
a mini group, right? For example, Grupo Calleja is, is a very popular corporation, right? A, a group of company, right? There are many in El Salvador. So that's the word corporate. Develop, right? Grow and become more advanced. For example, you are developing your English abilities, right? In this class. So your abilities are growing and, and becoming more advanced. Soon you're going to be another level, right? You were in basic, now you're intermediate, and in the future you're going to be advanced, right? Advanced. That's it. So it's develop, grow and become more advanced. Stand out or stand out from, right? It's a phrase of verb, right? Persist in a position. So, um, for example, sorry to talk about football, but. <laughs> Uh, let's say uh, Real Madrid stand out against Barcelona, right? It's, they are in opposition. In, in the case of uh, products, for example, a Coca-Cola versus Pepsi, for example, right? So Coca-Cola stand out versus Pepsi, right? So it persists in a position. Convey, sorry, convey, it's a verb. That means make an idea known, right? Or understandable to someone, right? Transmitir. Transmitir, convey. So it's, uh, for example, today we were discussing this idea of men versus uh, women, right? And we, are, we were conveying ideas, you know, transmitting ideas, right? Like... Uh, like Mariano, that is a good chef, right? Mariano is a good chef, so he says he was conveying the idea that he's a chef, right? And he made everybody understand that, right? That he's, he's a chef. I don't believe, I know. <laughs> no lo sé, Rick, me parece fácil. <laughs> no, no, I, yes, I, I, I believe you, Mariano, I believe you. Okay, now, any question about this? Questions? This vocabulary we're going to use today, right? Okay, now please repeat after me. Repeat after me. Entity. Entity. Like... Okay, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> now, corporate. Corporate. Develop. Develop. Stand out from. Stand out from. Convey. Convey. Good. Thank you. Any question? Sure, you don't have questions? Translation? I can translate if you want into Spanish or into Portuguese. Teacher. Yes, is tell it, me. Uh, está, están or stand from? out. Stand from. St no, stand is... out from. The pronunciation. Está... Uh -huh. Stand out from. Stand out Stand from. Out from. Mm -hmm. Y es es like como, como competir contra otro producto. Por ejemplo, dice, mm -hmm. eh, este producto eh, está en oposición o, o está luchando en el mercado para ganarle a, otro, a este otro, a la competencia, you ¿no? Know? So it's, it's stand out from. Let's say, for example, coca no, Coca-Cola, no. Let me say, uh, uh, Churrito Diana, for example, stand out from uh, Lace, right? So está en, en contraposición a la competencia, por ejemplo, okay? Mm -hmm. So that is stand it out is, from. It is a phrasal verb? Phrasal. Phrasal verb. Do you understand what is a phrasal verb, Domingo? Do you understand yeah. what is a phrasal verb? Verbo falso. No. No, 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 no. No way, come on. No, no a phrasal no. verb is a verb that has a particle, one or two particles that uh, change the meaning, right, of the, of the verb. Mm. Es un verbo que lleva una partícula, a particle, right? Uh, um. Normalmente es un adverbio o una preposición, right? Uh, una o dos, a veces hay hasta dos, right? En este caso, bueno, es stand out, es el phrase of verb. El from yo se lo agregué porque 
para ponerlo en contexto, pero es de dos palabras, stand out, right? Ayer vimos uno de tres, come up, come up with, come up with, es decir, oh, se me ocurrió una idea, tiene que ocurrirse una idea, right? come up with, you ¿no? Know? And they, they, they come from the same root. Todos vienen de una, misma, de una misma raíz. In this case, ten. Okay, le voy a poner un ejemplo. Uh, Domingo, I'm going to give you one example. The word turn. La palabra turn significa cambio. Turn, cambio, right? Turn. So when you say turn off, apagar algo. Turn off. Quiere decir cambiar algo de encendido a apagado. Turn off. Then turn on. Cambiar algo de, de apagado a encendido, ¿no? Turn up, darle volumen a algo, right? Turn down, o bajar algo, ¿no? Turn down. So the root is turn. El verbo turn es la raíz, que significa cambio. Entonces, todos los demás verbos que van alrededor tienen significado diferente, pero you know, eh, siempre guarda la misma raíz de cambio, ¿no? In some cases, no, right? En algunos casos, sí. Hay phrase albert que he visto que tengo que ir al diccionario, a San Google, para saber qué son, porque no, no están relacionados. ¿verdad? Un ejemplo es work. You know, work es trabajar, you know. And workout significa trabajar el cuerpo. You know? Ir al gym. So when you say, eh, yo estoy haciendo ejercicio en el gym, yo estoy... Me voy a ser musculoso, right? So I'm, I'm working out. Work out. It's a phrase of you know, work out. You know? Y pues no es que te, no esté precisamente trabajando, ¿verdad? <ríe> no veo que alguien en el gimnasio esté trabajando. Ah, bueno, al menos el, el instructor, pero si usted va, you ¿no? Know? Entonces. Por eso, por eso, excuse me, por ejemplo, how, how work? Or how to work? Sorry, I don't understand the, the phrase of Again? Um, for example, is um, homework. Homework. Ah, no, that's a homework. compound word. No, eso es diferente, mm -hmm. Domingo. Ese es, es, se llama compound word. Compound word. Es una palabra compuesta. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Homework o classmate. Classmate. Eso no es un verbo. Es una palabra compuesta. Tiene dos y están unidas. Y significan algo, ¿no? Classmate, you know, compañero de clases. No, no, no. The phrase of verb are verb. Para comenzar los phrase of verb, todos son verbos, obviamente. Y todos llevan una partícula. ¿Ok? Ok. Que le cambia el significado al verbo, ¿sí? Ok. Y la mayoría de veces eh, la raíz permanece. En este caso, por ejemplo, stand quiere decir pararse, ¿no? Entonces, cuando usted se para, está enfrente a su enemigo, su, su competidor de su producto, ¿no? Stand. Stand out, ¿no? Eh, y, pero en el caso que le digo de work y workout, el verbo work, para mí, pues, no tiene mucho que, que ver con el workout que usted usa para cuando va a hacer ejercicio al, al gimnasio. Cuando usted dice, I work out, yo estoy eh, haciendo ejercicio. ¿no? <risa> okay, me, sería quizás la idea de cómo trabajar el cuerpo, ¿no? Trabajar el cuerpo, ¿sí? entonces, workout. ¿Ok? Pero la raíz es trabajar. Entonces ahí ese como que no conserva la raíz, pero otro como el turn off, turn, turn, turn on, turn down, turn up. Eso phrase of verb, sí, como que conservan la idea de la raíz del verbo. ¿Ok? A, a general idea, Domingo. Una idea okay. general, lo que son los phrase of verb, phrase of verb, que hay montones. Los estadounidenses usan uh, montones de phrase of verb, right? Ok, good. Let's continue. And then we're going to learn about the type of branding. Type of branding, right? But before to continue, we'll take the attendance. Uh, Trini? No, no. I will start from the, from the bottom, right? Vamos a comenzar a ver lista ahora. Uh, Jorge Alfredo? Jorge? Debbie? Chamba? Present teacher, I will be listening. Uh, Debbie? Debbie? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Ya le tomé la asistencia, Debbie. Okay. Chamba is a listener too. So, um, Wendy? Present. Walter? Present. 
Vanessa, Noemi. Present. So, thank you. Sonia y Beth. Present. Rosibel. Present, teacher. Rosemary. Present, teacher. Okay, Oscar. Okay, good. Good, Oscar. Thank you. Eh, Mariano. Present, teacher. Leticia. Present, teacher. Oh, welcome, Leticia. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, good. Eh, Oscar, yes. Ya le tomó una asistencia, Oscar. Okay, Mariano. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Carla Vanessa. I'm here. Good. Thank you. Yes, yes, now, ahorita como decía su nombre, ¿verdad, Carla Vanessa? Ok, yes. ok, good. Me adivinó. Ok, eh, let me see. Carla, Carla Benazir. José Roberto. Hello, teacher. Good, good, thank you, José Roberto. Eh, Ever, ¿está todavía de listener, Ever? No, oh, teacher, I am here. here, right? Good. Welcome, welcome, Ever. Thank you. You will participate, right, Ever? Ya le puedo hacer preguntas. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. I'm ready. Good. good. Thank you. Thank you. Domingo? Present. Domingo? Present. Good, good. Eh, Claudia Guadalupe? Oh, no me ha mandado mensajes ahora, Claudia. Quizás no se ha conectado. Let me see. No. Ok. No, no se ha conectado. Bueno. Eh, Ana María? Present. Thank you. Eh, Carlos? Carlos Williams? Sí, present. Good, thank you. Aminda? Present. Trini? Present. Good, thank you, Trini. Okay, that's it, right? That, now let's continue. Uh, well, we're going to learn about branding, you know, uh, marcas, marcas, the product, right? Branding, branding. So here we have some some types of branding, types of branding, right? It's algún tipo de, de marcas, mm? o de poner marcas al, al producto, right? So it says product branding. Uh, I need someone to help me, right? Uh, Debbie, Debbie, help me, please. So, would you like to read, please? Uh, it is how a product in, in interacts. Case interacts with its consumer audience to design love and advertising. Thank you. Uh, so this is how, right, the product interact with the clients, you know? And you know that uh, the interaction goes with the logo. Like, like last, Last time we were learning about Cafe Listo, for example, right? Cafe Listo has a logo, a name, or, or Nike, for example, right? That, that has the, the symbol of the Kumita, you know, Nike. So a logo and a design, right? And this is the way you, you advertise your product. De la forma como usted anuncia su producto. So that is product branding, the first, right? The second one is a personal branding, personal branding, right? Uh, can you read, please, uh, Wendy? Read. Okay, personal branding. The practice of people marketing themselves and their careers as brands. Thank you very much. So uh, this is related when you are a psychologist, when you are a doctor, right? That you are promoting your service. And also if you make you make uh, the product, you, you have your own business, right? So usted tiene su propio negocio. For example, Jorge Alfredo, Jorge Alfredo has his own business. So he makes personal branding, you know, personal branding about his products. But also if you work for a company, right? And you go store by store and you're promoting your product, right? One of these that is very common is when you work for a Herbalife, a, Avon, um, 
I don't know. So some examples like this, that, that you personal, right? The, you, you're promoting a product by yourself, personally, right? That is the, the idea of personal branding. So you give the name in this case, or you promote one brand personal, right? It could be a recognized brand, or it could be Chocolates Pedrito. It could, it could be uh, uh, Los Asaditos de Don Domingo Alexander, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. But you, you give a brand in a personal way, right? Okay, next one, corporate branding, corporate branding, right? And Walter, please read. Okay, um, Vanessa, please. Vanessa, no me. Read, please. It refers to the practice of promoting the brand name of a corporate entity as opposed to a specific product or service. Yes, it could be. Uh, the next one is for you, Mariano. Thank you. Thank you, Mariano. And thank you, Vanessa, too. So um, this is the practice of promote uh, the name of a company, right? Uh, not personally, but as an entity, for example. I was telling you about Grupo Calleja, Grupo, what is this name? Uh, Grupo, I forgot the name of this. There are many factories and, and, and stores in Boulevard del Ejército, it's, uh, I forgot the name of this uh, group, okay? But this, this is a group of company, right? Unilever. Unilever is one example too, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Gru but, uh, group Ro Roble. Gru Grupo Roble, yes. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. That's another example, right? So they have their own brand. Tienen su propia marca, you know? So, and, and, and when, when you're promoting this brand, it refers to corporate branding, right? It's not personal. It's corporate, right? Okay, Mariano, please help me with the next one. Okay, to share. Geographical branding. It is used to draw a, posit a positive connection between a product and the identity. 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 Identity of a geographical region. Thank you very much. Uh, let's say, for example, Central America, South America, Latin America, Mexico, uh, France, Asia, right? So geographical branding is to, when you make a brand that is for a specific country, right? Uh, this is very common in cars, for example, right? Cars have some names that are different in some other countries, okay? And I don't know what else can I say? Um, well, it depends on the region, right? Of, of the area of the world where you're selling the product. Uh, for example, uh, Giganti companies uh, change the, the product name because in some countries, the religion, the, or the geographical area is different. That's, that's it, right? Good. Now, the, the one that is related to culture is the next. Okay. And, Yvette, can you read, please? Okay. Uh, uh, cultural branding. A type of branding that I develops, develops, develops mm -hmm. a reputation about the environment and people of a particular location or nationality. nationality. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you very much. So, as you see, it's uh, according to the culture, right? According to the, the environment, right? According to people. Uh, I will give you an example, right? Uh, the Red Cross, you know, La Cruz Roja. So, uh, it's, a, it's a cross, right? It's not a cruz, you know, Cruz Roja, <laughs> of course. But in some countries like Arabia, like... Uh, country from Asia in general, right? The uh, Muslim, you know, Muslims, uh, países musulman, you know. So they don't, the name, the brand is not Cruz Roja, it, it's a, a half moon, you know, it's una media luna. 
So in other countries, um, mostly in red countries, we say la media luna, half moon, you know? So the brand is different, you know? The brand is different, but it's the same uh, a company. This, well, this is not a, a commercial entity, but it's one example I can tell you, right? For you to understand that it depends on the people, it depends on the culture, it depends on the nationality, right? Uh, because people from United States don't consume the same product that in El Salvador consume. I will give you another example. Listen, uh, I, I love, and I used to eat a lot of chili, right? Chili, you know? Chili, you know, like chili mexicano, chili picante, you know? I, not anymore, but in the past, I loved it, right? So when I was in Rome, oh, sad, you know, sorry. But I like to talk about this experience. When I was in Rome, when I was in Roma, right, I went to a supermarket. And uh, in this supermarket, there are no, no chili. No había chile picante, no había salsa picante, right? And I was looking for that. So the product in Europe for, for, for this is, doesn't exist, right? No existe ese producto en, en Europa, or menos en, en, en Italy, right? In Italy. Okay, but in Mexico, of course, if you sell chile picante, come on, you, you become a millionaire, right? <laughs> or in Latin America, because Latin people would like to eat chile, right? But to, so it depends, it, we call this the cultural branding, you know? Cultural branding, right? Good. So any question? Teacher. Tell me. I had confused in the... Cultural and geographical. No. Rosibel? Okay, se le fue a internet a Rosibel. Me vamos a estar pendiente de su pregunta. But anybody else? Alguien más? Somebody else that has a question? I repeat, right? These are types of branding. Types of branding, right? Son tipos de formas de darle nombre a los productos de acuerdo a ciertas circunstancias, you know? So type of branding. And you give the name of the product according to some specific situation, personal, geographical, and cultural reason, you know? No questions? Okay, good. So let's go to the manual. Let's go to the manual, right? Let's go to the manual. Um, good. So page 26, page 26, right? Building vocabulary. You need three branding. Brand. This is the second class, right? Of the unit number three. Match. Put together, right? The type of brand into its correct, to its correct description. Compare your answer with a classmate. So here we have a product branding, personal branding, corporate branding, geographical branding, cultural branding, uh, pupusa branding. I oh, no, no, oh, no, sorry, excuse me. So only five, right? Five branding. So, and now let's connect. We already practiced this together, right? Now, I hope you have a good memory <laughs> and you remember the definition of this, of these types of branding, you know, type of branding. Is it my imagination or is extremely hot today? So I'm feeling very hot. I hope no. where you... Yes. Yes, yeah, right, I don't know. I thought it was only me, but... How is it in La Unión, uh, Trini? How's the weather in La Unión? Is it nice? Trini? Okay, she's not connecting at all. Anyway, so now, uh, can we make it together or do you need some time? Number one, the product okay. brand. 
Product branding. What is product branding, please? It, it is how a product is interact with its customer audience through design, logo, and advertising. Advertising. Good. That's it, right? So product branding is how uh, the product, right, interacts with its consumer audience through the design of the product, right? The logo and the advertising. Three characteristics, design, el, the logo, and the advertising of the product, right? So this is the product branding. And of course, the way you interact is practically it's giving a name to the product, right? Modale un nombre al producto, yes? Good. Now, number two, thank you. Number two. Personal branding. What is personal branding? Volunteers? Yes, uh, Aminda, Aminda. Practice. Ah, okay, Walter, go ahead. So Aminda, can you help me with number three? Number three, Aminda, thank you. Come on, Walter, go ahead, number two. The practice of people marketing their, themselves and their career as brand and their careers of brands, right? Thank you, that's the correct answer. Totally right, I'm oh, sorry, Dave. The bell, right? The practice of, this is the correct one, right? Number two, right? Thank you. Now, number three, please, Aminda. Okay, uh, corporate branding. Mm -hmm. It refers to the practice of promoting the brand name of corporate entities as opposed to a specific product or service. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, right? So this is the correct answer. Um, okay, good. So corporate branding, right? Thank you, now number four, geographical branding. What is geographical branding? Volunteers? I, I have oh. two, right? Uh, Mariano and... ¿Quiénes me hablaron? Mariano and... Me, teacher. Ever. Ever, okay. Uh, so, Ever, can you make number five, please? And Mariano, number four. Thank you. Now, Mariano? I think it is using to draw a positive connection between a product and identify of a geographical region. This one, Mariano? Yes. Um, I'm sorry to tell you, Mariano, but you are totally right. Congratulations. Yes. Nice. Correct, right? Now, Ever, please, the last one, cultural branding. Okay, the last one, uh, cultural branding, a type of branding that develops a reputation about the environment of people of particular location or nationality. Totally right. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Ever. En la punta, en la cierta, right? Thank you, Ever. Okay, guys. So do you have any question about this? I repeat, right? These are type of branding. I don't know if it is related the way you produce your product in your companies. I don't know. Excuse me, class, but I have to be honest. I don't know anything about products. <laughs> I don't know anything about creating a brand, right? Maybe you and your companies, maybe you're familiar with, with this kind of process, right? You know, marketing, branding, uh, promoting the products advertising, etc., etc. So because I have no idea <laughs> how to do that, right? I hope you know in, in, in the practice. That's what I mean, right? I know in theory, of course, I'm going to know this concept, but in the practice, I don't know, like, like you say, right? Hagámonos, reunámonos y démosle un nombre a este producto, que promocionémoslo, pongámoslo en el mercado, vendámoslo en las esquinas, etc. So, how to do that, I don't know. But I hope you know about this in the practice, right? Now, let's go to this idea. This is kind of long, but we're going to do it together, right? 
So it says two sets, two sets of questions, right? Two groups of questions. So to guide the branding process of a company or a person, right? Okay, now product branding and personal branding. Let's just start with product branding. What does your business or product do? What does your business do? Okay, if you work for Importe, if you work for Banco Cuscatlán, if you work for McCormick, if you work for uh, Euromoda, if you work for Iber Plastic, for Grupo Pale, Pale, right? So what, what, what does your business do? What, or what the product that you produce in your company do? What problem do you solve for your customers? I have a problem, I need a solution. So I, I'm going to use this product. What is the problem you're going to resolve for me? Me, that I am your client, your customer, right? Next, who are the three main competitors? For example, let's say Coca-Cola, the competitors are Pepsi and Cola Champagne, I guess. For example, right? Pepsi, Cola Champagne, and Los refrescos de la niña Toña, right? <laughs> Three competitors, right? So, what is the primary message do you com do, do you want to convey? To convey, sorry, to get transmitted to your customers. So, what is the primary message, right? That, for example, that uh, the best hamburgers are Wendy's, and these are the most delicious hamburgers in the world. You no, know? this is the message that you want to to tell to your customers. Now, what are five adjectives or, or words that then describe your company? Like good, excellent, popular, quality. I don't know, adjectives that, they, that represent your company, right? Good, this is uh, the way you produce a, a brand to your product for a company. Now, a personal, way to produce your service or, or product in, uh, to produce the, the, your, your service or product, right? Now, what service do you have to offer to people? What is your service? Que hace, que, que vende, que, que promueve, right? What do you do that makes you stand out? Look, stand out from everyone else. Let's say you are here and this is other fulanito with the same product, right? And then why do I have to prefer you? Porque tengo prefer los usted no al su competidor. Why? So who are your biggest competitors? Okay? And what are they doing to brand themselves, right? You sell natural products, for example, who is your competitor? Who is your enemy <laughs> in, in commercially talking, right? Okay? And and what they are doing. ¿Y qué hacen ellos para promover su producto? Que quizá usted no lo está haciendo y ellos sí. Mm -hmm. What do you want your personal brand to convey? ¿Qué es lo que quiere uh, transmitir con su producto personal? You know? ¿Ok? O su venta personal. Yes. Uh, listen, right? Eh, this is when, when you produce your product, cuando usted produce su propio producto o usted anda ofreciendo un producto de una compañía grande de forma personal. I told you, for example, the uh, Avon, for example, Avon, <laughs> Avon. So the product is made for a big company, but you are promoting the, the product personally, right? Aunque usted no lo produzca, pero usted lo anda vendiendo personalmente, right? Or maybe you do the product. Honey, what was the name of the product, Honey? Honey Bee, I don't remember. So this is a personal product, right? Chocolates Don Ever, right? <laughs> the best chocolate in El Salvador, Chocolates Don Ever, right? It's personal, right? So what do you want to transmit with your product? Or what adjective do you want people associate with you, right? Good. So now we're going to work together and we're going to finish the class with this. Yes, exactly 30 minutes, 20 minutes to work and 10 to transmit, right? Vamos a agarrar 20 minutos para trabajar y 10 para, para poner. So 
choose a well-known product or service in the national product market. So answer the guiding quest, right? So you are going to choose uh, product branding for, this is are for companies or personal branding. Choose one, right? Me van a escoger uno de estos dos, okay? One of these. And then you're going to choose a product. If you want, you can invent the product. Pueden inventar el producto o pueden agarrar un producto nacional, right? And you are going to answer question by question. It's simple. I don't want uh, pictures. I don't want uh, complicated presentation. Simple. Answer the question one by one, and then you are going to present the answers to the class, right? Good. And repeat the process to develop the basis of your personal brand. And it's, it's the same, right? To describe how you are going to, to give a brand to your product. And then uh, present the results of the brand design uh, with the class, the brand design with the class, right? In other words, you're going to give a brand to your product. And these are the expectations of it, right? Good. Now I will uh, please. Capture the, the screen, right? Hagan una captura de pantalla, por favor. Los que no tienen el manual. Just give me a second. Solo vamos a ponérselo. Ok, good. Captura de pantalla, porque vamos a trabajar en grupos. Break up rooms. Ok, I will repeat the instructions. Listen. Please choose this product branding or this one, solo una, no las dos, only one, right? Decide on a national product or service, right? Or invent your own product or service, right? And then go question by question. Just simple answer the questions, right? Okay, good. Here we go, right? Okay. We're going to make four groups, right? Group number one, ready? Debbie, Jorge Alfredo, ah, Jorge is here, yes. Jorge Alfredo, Leticia, uh, perdón, Jorge está por ahí, me escucha. Yes, teacher. No, Jorge, Jorge Alfredo. No, okay, good. <laughs> Para ponerle la asistencia, Jorge Alfredo, ¿por qué no le he puesto la asistencia? Jorge. Ok, good. Bueno, pero aquí me aparece Jorge en el, en el grupo 1. So, Davis, Davis está en el grupo 1 también. Leticia, Mariano, en Walter. Group number 2, Carlos, Carlos Membreño. Aunque estén de listener, pero por favor se me van al grupo y, y escuchan, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, Rosemary, Rosibel, Chamba, está de oyente Chamba, pero ahí va a estar con ustedes. Sonia y Beth, group number two, right? Group number three, Trini, Ana María, Carla Vanessa, Roberto, José Roberto, en Vanessa Noemi. En group number four, Aminda, Domingo, Ever, Oscar Anulfo, Wendy, eh? group number four, solo pesos pesados van aquí. Eh? Nice. Very good. Ready? Any question before we go to the breakout rooms? ¿Hay alguna pregunta extra antes de que nos vayamos al cada grupo? No? Okay. 20 minutes. Tienen 20 minutos. There you go.
We have a product called champagne. Yes, it's a good product. You can write a uh, in PC. Now, what problem we solve for the customers? Uh, and the have a, re a fresh juice. No, it's juice a fresh soda. It's the perfect couple for your for your pupusas. Uh, for your pupusas, yes. Hello, guys. Oh, hello. You decide in person and products branding, right? Product branding. Product branding. Yes. Okay, nice. Yeah. Nice. Very good. Continue working. If you have extra question, if and I, I can help so. you, you can tell me, please. Continue working. Continue. Ah, design a coordinator, right? Or a secretary in the group, please. Okay. okay. Good. Thank Only you. Two. Continue. Two. Continue. I try to share for copy. Thank you. Just Hello, hello. Uh, Jorge Alfredo, si me escucha, puede unirse al grupo 1 para que esté de oyente ahí en el grupo 1. De oyente, nada más, Jorge. Uh, chamba, en el grupo 2. Solo de oyente, Chamba. Y Oscar, en el grupo 4. Aunque no participen, pero por favor pueden unirse ahí al grupo. Thank you, thank you very much. Hola, hola, hola. No, esa. Ese. Ese se puede dejar también, porque la sucursal o la tienda. Ah, pues, ¿no? Dice bonito. Bien. Ok. Hello, teacher. Hello, Uy, teacher. solo que no lo, no lo deforme. Any question? Do you have questions? No. No. Continue working. No, yet. Mm -hmm. I am just watching. Mm -hmm. Solo estoy de chute aquí en el grupo. <laughs> Continue mm -hmm. working. Okay. Um, next question is, well, what what does your business? Um, manufacturing and selling shoes. Manufacturing and selling. Choose. Choose. Ahí respondemos las dos de una vez. Mm -hmm. Okay, again, okay. can someone uh, write for only copy? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Factoring and choose. 
and selling shoes. Sell, sell. I know from the literature. Mm -hmm. Cualquier tienda, algo así. Ya le pusimos de, 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 en cualquier lugar. Ajá. Sí. Oh, ¿A qué se refería? O sea, que lo podías comprar en cualquier lugar. Que es de fácil acceso hacia allá. Ajá. Es llamativo también. Llama la atención. Yo no sé cómo se pone. Quiero ver que llamativo es. Es tricking. Es tricking. Con, con. Es tricking, ajá. Uh -huh. Hello, striking, right? How do you come on? Striking. 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 Mm -hmm. Pero no se escribe striking. Striking, así. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, but the pronunciation is striking, right? Striking. Striking, striking. That's the pronunciation. If you have any question, I am here to help you, right? But continue working, continue. I am solo estoy de chute aquí viendo. <laughs> continue. Sí, a la presentación. Además le podemos poner que es delicious. <risa> después de, ah, después de eso. En, en delicious. Teacher. Yes, tell me. What is the new name of the late milk foremost? Uh, Muki. 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 M-U-K-K-I. Muki. Uh, Muki. 
Ah, ok. Ah, Mookie. Ok. And the third one will be... Uh, eh, leche Anchor. Ya, ya no existe, Anchor. pero sí. Ya. No, como no está. Ya no existe el Anchor. Como no. Yes, it's como still no. in the supermarket. Yes. Or maybe, or maybe Goat Milk. I don't well, know if you see... Goat, goat Milk. La leche I... de cabra. No sé si usted ha visto que, eh, en, bueno, en las zonas tradicionales del país, en las esquinas, se ponen unos pickups grandotes así, y con, como con 10 cabras así, y, y, y usted pide ahí, ahí le dan su vasito de leche. No sé si la ve. Ay, no. cierto. No, pero no, mejor, mejor es la cosa. Ok. Eh, ya pusimos los competidores, Domingo. Competitors. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, and uh, number two is, is, uh, is it number three. Number three is uh, what are your three main compared compared. Yes, compared. the fair the, the fair is Australian milk or. Sí. The Australian fair. milk, the first one. Sí. Ghost milk. Is the third one, the second one? Uh, Muki. Muki milk. Así como lo has escrito. Muki milk. No. Muki milk. Sí, sí, Domingo. Muki milk. The eh, fair. Así me quiera. The fair. O de Muki milk. Copia, les no importa el orden. Ah, ok. Cost, cost milk, 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 Australian milk. Cost milk. The type is right. Solo que hay, sí, yes, it's right. Solo okay. que ahí se le, ha, se le ha pegado la respuesta de la dos, Domingo. Ay, sí. Tiene que borrar Wi-Fi. Esa línea. ¿Qué? Uh -huh. Okay. The first one, um, what is the primary message? The one that can convidate your customer. Mm. Okay. To be a, 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 a health quality of life. milk. Sorry? Uh, I don't know. I think uh, it, to be a, a healthy a healthy life with our milk. No. Maybe. Mm. Or promote, mm. promote the healthy life to our, our milk. Send the chat, para que Domingo lo copie. Ah, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just let me promote. Promote. A health. No te se Ah, no. Ese, sí, ese, eh, eh, ese en va antes de Mukimil. ¿Cuál? De, después, en, eh, eh, después de coma. Después de Australian Milk. Uh -huh. Australian oh, Milk, ajá. Uh -huh. Mucking. Ahí va el M. Si le quiere poner M, ahí iría el M. Pero con... Con, con A. Con A. 
Ok. Um. Ex. Eso, así es. Y es Muki Milk, en Muki Milk. Solo agregue el milk al final. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back. So we're going to start with group number one, right? Tell me when you're ready. Okay, teacher. Good. So okay. ladies and gentlemen, group number one, right? Bien si pote de aquí, Walter, eh? <laughs> Okay, good. Okay, I start. What do, does your business or product do? The national product is a cola champagne soda. Uh, what problem do you solve for your customer? Uh, Cola Champagne Soda is a perfect couple for the Sunday pupusas, chicken soups, bean soups, and sunny days. <laughs> uh, who are you three main competition? A Mirinda KS, a Coca Cola, and Pepsi. Walter? What is the, the primary message to want to convey to your customer nostalgic product from your country generation to generation what are five adjectives or words that best describe your company refresh cheaper delicious sparkling familiar and energetic
This That's is it. all. That's it? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Uh, cola champagne, right? There were some letters yes. over there, but don't worry. That we understand the idea. We understand the idea. Thank you. Thank you very much, group number one. Okay, group number two. Ready? Group number two. I don't remember. We have the number two. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, number two was ad hoc. Ad hoc. Ad hoc is number two. Okay. 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 Bimbo is three. And let's say tres pinos is four, right? Okay. Come on. Group two. Okay, in our case, we chose a dog, like a national branding. It, the, this company is experting in manufacturing, manufacturing and sales shoes. Sorry, but I can't read. It's too small. Ahí se puede agrandar a la derecha, yes. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. And what's the problem do you solve for your customers? We provide quality, style, and comfort shoes for all the family. Who are, the, who are your main competitors? MD, Payless, Li Shu. What is the primary message do you want to convert to your customers? We are the biggest shoes store in Central America. And the five adjectives to describe our company is innovation, quality, tradition, prestige, and customers, uh, the best customer service. Thank you, I like it, I like it, very good. Excellent, right? And personally, it's one of the stores I prefer to buy my shoes because they are really good and cheap. Well, not cheap, but no, no, right now. Okay, thank you. Now let's go to the next one. Bimbo. Group number yeah. three. Okay. Uh, the first one. What does your business product do? This company offers um Food products, a favorite snack and bakery. Um, <laughs> number two, what problem do you solve for your customers? An easy way to get fast food and eat it in any time, and you can buy it in stores, supermarkets, markets, or other places. These products are cheaper than other products, and the company has. Pricing, product presentation, and the day is delicious for everyone. And three, can you continue? Who are your three main competitors, direct or indirect? Lido, Pansinae, Santa Duiges. What is the primary message you want to convey to your customer? We feel a better world. The elaboration of the product doesn't change through the year and its marketing with the best ingredient given to our our customer an special moment. What are five adjectives or work that best describe your company? Delicious, cheap, Variety, high quality, fresh product. Excellent, also, excellent, also, right? I like those ideas the delicious, cheap, variety, <laughs> high quality, and fresh, All right? Personally, I prefer to do a little number. <laughs> no, no, kidding. Good, thank you, thank you, Bimbo. I like group number three, yes, thank you. 
Nice. And to finish group number four, the last group, right? Oops, it's, it's late, but continue, continue, continue. I'm sorry. Um, is it the the product the product branding? Leche tres pinos. What does your business business product do? Uh, we provide the trees, vitam vitamins and mineral for growth. Uh, what problem you do? Do you do solve for your customer? We fight and guys, not mal, mal, malnutrition, mal, malnutrition, malnutrition. Mm -hmm. uh, who are you three my competitors? A uh, group of or indirect is quax meal, uh, Austrian meal, uh, and monkey meal. Um, what is primary messenger of the wax to, to cover to COVID, convey to convey, convey to oh. your customer from Mero I hardly life by our meals is uh, um what are five adjective or adjective or or word that begs the script uh the script uh, you call your company is uh, quality, uh, natural, delicious, uh, vitamins. Vaya, right? I I could add uh, the let's say with uh, extraordinary flavor, right? Extraordinary flavor, tres pinos, right? But I, what I don't see is the tres pinos. Where? <laughs> okay, thank you, <laughs> thank you very much. Very good, thank you. Uh, let me see what is the opinion of Dudley about this Leche Tres Pinos. The opinion of Dudley is that, do you like it, Dudley? Okay, good. Dudley agrees with you. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Wendy, can you stay with me for the next 10 minutes, please? Sure, no problem. No problem, excellent. Excellent, yes. it's also, right? Okay, uh, let's go to the attendance and Good night to everybody. Okay, let me see. Uh, Trini? Present, good night. Oh, thank you, good night, Trini. Uh, uh, Jorge Alfredo? Okay, Aminda? Present. Thank you, Debbie? Debbie? Okay, um, Carlos, Carlos William. Ah, good, Debbie, right? Debbie, uh, thank you, Debbie. Now, uh, Carlos William. Sí, sí, that's it. Ah, good, that's it, right? Thank you, Carlos. Ana Maria. Ana Maria. Thanks. Good, thank you, thank you. Uh, Chamba. Bye. Domingo. Domingo. Uh, Wendy. Uh, good. Thank you, Domingo. Thank you, Domingo. Wendy. Present. Good. Thank you, Wendy. Me espera, oiga. Um, Okay. Let me see. Thank you. Thank you. Jose Roberto. Present teacher. Good. Thank you. Have a good night, Roberto. Have a good uh, night. Good night. Walter. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Uh, Carla Vanessa. Present. Thank you very much. Vanessa Noemi. Present teacher, good night, have a, have a great weekend. Okay, thank you, 
Sonia y Beth. Present. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Mariano. Present teacher. Thank you. Have a good night. Oscar. Me manda el mensaje. Ok. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Oscar. Rosemary. Present. Good, thank you. Sonia y Beth. Sonia y Beth. Ok. And let me see. Vamos a ver quiénes están en el chat. My name. Ah, uh, wait. Ever and Rosibel, please. Ever. Present, mister. Good night. Okay, have a good night. Bye bye. And Rosibel. Present, teacher. Okay, good thank night. you. Thank you. Sorry, Rosibel. I didn't mention your name. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Let me check. Uh, Carlos Membreño, yes. Eh, Chamba, yes. Oscar Arnulfo, yes. Solo que no tengo a Claudia Guadalupe. Ni Carla, Benazir no están. Bueno. Let's see, come here. Laisley. No. Vicky, no. Jorge, Jorge, no. No, ok. Good. Ok, Wendy, thank you. Thank you for your patience. So, hi, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> ok. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. A little tired, you know, because after work. Yes, yeah, then... it's Friday. <laughs> uh, well, it's Friday, you know. After the class, you can go hang, hang out over there, right? With... <laughs> no, I have to no. work tomorrow. <laughs> ah, you're working? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. Yeah. But tomorrow you're free. <laughs> yes, yes, oh, tomorrow I'm free. Yeah, yes, thank you. Yeah, you can sleep late. <laughs> Go around, yes. Yeah. Drink a coffee over there, right, with your friends. Sometimes <laughs> we like to yeah. gossip, right? Chambrear with the friends. Yeah. yeah I like it too. Yeah, in afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, do you have any topic or any question in general about the the unit one, two, and three that we want you want we discuss tonight? Or any specific topic? Uh... Uh, you want that I can explain to you tonight? Um, not really. No. I think that the course is easily at at from that moment. I think. Okay, I good. Don't know if, so, what is your opinion about the course? I think that everything okay, is good. okay with the topic. Excellent. Thank you, Wendy. So, what is your opinion in general of the course? So, do you have any suggestion? Or what part do you like about the course? Or what is your experience, you know, in this virtual class? Because it's, it's different, right, from a normal class. Yeah, this is my my first time with the oh. English corporate field. Uh, mm. Yes, it, I have never been studied with the, with with English corporate Um, and I think that it's a good opportunity. Yes, it's a good opportunity to to improve the English. I think. Okay. So, but you were in other classes, virtual classes before with other academies. Yes, in the, ah. in the, yes, in the university. In the university. I was okay. studying in, in virtual classes. But English, now English in virtual stopped. classes. Uh -huh. English in vir yes. virtual classes. I imagine all the yeah. subjects, but including English, right? Okay, yes. Yes, nice. Definitely. So do you like the experience, Wendy? Um, I like the experience, but I prefer to present, also oh, yeah. to, to stay in a classroom. Me but too. it is a good experience, especially for the people that have to work, like like me, for example. I just have time at night, and it's better stay at home than go to university or go to study in, a, in another place. You travel, right? You save gas. You save yeah. gas oil. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Yes, more tires. You spend more money. Yeah. Yeah. But when it's raining, for example, right? You go outside and yeah. So those those are the advantages yeah. to have a to have a virtual class, right? Um, any yeah. any suggestion, Wendy, or any part that you like about the class? 
uh, I like the part of discussion. Oh, really? Because the topics are interesting. Yes. Hey, the you, did you like the topic of today? Did you like the topic of today? Yeah, I like. Yes, <laughs> I like. Yes. Controversy, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I like to work with groups too because uh, it has the opportunity to know our partner better, I think. Mm -hmm. um, in general, I like the course. Okay, good, nice. Yeah, nice. Okay, so I will give you some suggestions, uh, Wendy. If you have the time, of course, I know you work, right? But uh, to improve, your your English, right? Uh, I have this suggestion, right? Uh, practice music. My suggestion is that you practice one song every week, right? And try to memorize the, okay. the, the lyrics, okay. right? La letra, la canción. Uh, if you have Netflix, Disney, uh, or cable, right? Try to watch a movie too in English. Okay with subtitles i do that <laughs> excellent so that's it that's perfect right and also my recommendation is uh, youtube youtube uh if they have audio books audio books okay. so you can go and access to one audio book right uh, for example i was last time i was listening because you listen right and you are reading at the same time you know uh, I was reading Tom Sawyer. I like that. It's about adventure, right? Tom, so do you know Tom Sawyer? No. No, no. It's a book about uh, one one boy, the adventures of Tom Sawyer in the United States, right? So it's uh, from at the beginning of the century, the twentieth century. So it's a nice book. So you can have the opportunity to listen and to read. So oh, there are other books over there. You only copy audio books and you're going to see many options, right? This is okay. long. This is long because they okay. are they lasted for two, three hours. But you can read one book or, or listen one book in one month, right? When you're free, right? When you are drinking your coffee and so you, you just put this <laughs> and listen. Okay? Those are my okay. suggestions, right? Yeah. Good. So, okay, Wendy, thank you. I will do that. Thank you very much to stay in my class. And I don't know if you have any extra question. No, for no, no. Moment. Okay. Good. I don't know. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Remember, you. I am in the WhatsApp. <clears throat> if you have okay. any question over there about the platform, about the class, I'm there to help. Right. Anytime you want. Okay. Thank you. Good. Thank you for your time. Too. Okay, good. Have a good night. God bless you. Have a good night. You Bye. Too. Okay. Thank you. Bye.